Hey guys, today we are going to have a look at this 5 volts step up booster which I got for uh, 150 rupees on Amazon and today we are going to uh, perform some tests on this device for its power and if its, if its quality is actually adequate for its price point. So let's get started. So firstly we are going to conduct a test regarding its charging voltage. So I will quickly power up this with uh, a USB uh, charger and as it goes in it gives me a red LED. I'll measure the voltage using my multimeter and the voltage it gives at the output for charging will be measured with the multimeter. So the voltage is like 4.4 volts, 4.04 volts and that's okay for charging your lithium ion batteries and for this price point you can get a good power charger for your batteries but uh, i'm not sure about what it offers the as current for charging the batteries so let's measure the charging current so here i have connected the battery with the uh, multimeter and i've also powered this uh, usb with the uh, wall adapter now we'll measure the current So as you can see it's like 550 milliamps, 520 and the LED states that it's blinking and it's charging. It's like 520 milliamps for a battery which is discharged. Now that's the maximum current that can flow through this one to charge this one. So we can just use some of these TP4056 to charge the batteries faster and this is not the best one to charge your batteries. So it failed in the charging current test. So we'll be testing the uh, current that this thing draws from the battery pack when it is connected uh, via USB cable into a smartphone. Now I've set the multimeter to the current position and as soon as I probe this thing in, okay, it starts blinking the LED and we can measure the current. My god it's 1.75 amps and it's dropping steadily I don't know why it's taking such a high current for charging a small device and uh, it may be charging the device with maximum 1 or 1.2 amps and it's drawing 1.6 amps and it's okay for such devices to draw a current of like 1.4 amps or 1.6 amps but uh, what I'm measuring is 1.6 amps and that's okay for this device because it actually steps the voltage from 3.7 volts to 5 volts DC which actually converts the voltage into current so the current will be increasing actually so it's pretty good and my god it's very hot it's, it's really hot it's like the IC is heating up don't know why it's heating up but it's really very hot and maybe that is the reason why it's drawing such a high current it uh, claims for having an efficiency of 85 percent which didn't seem so impressive for, to me but the main reason for its low uh, efficiency is the heating problem maybe because this is uh, heating up a lot and I'm unable to touch it even but it's drawing 1.6 amps from the battery and that is the reason why it's drawing such a high current from the battery and it's wasting the energy as heat so it's the reason why it has so low efficiency and might be it get it will just get burned after some time if I just keep this doing but overall what I would be saying that these modules are pretty good if you are making a DIY power bank to not charge your cell phones but to uh, use for uh, some other DIY projects for example powering up a USB LED or USB fans which you have made itself and uh, some other pow low power devices like uh, small LED uh, lamps and others but it's not surely the best one to charge your smartphones because these actually heat up a lot and 
they're actually going to kill your battery pack soon and overall this one is pretty cheap for its uh, functioning and it may be a good alternative for some small projects and uh, it's not surely the best one as per mine tests but uh, you may use them for any further uh, project but what I would be saying is please don't trust these devices but if you just want to make some small devices those are pretty excellent for uh, small power consumptions as they are actually small in size and the price is pretty adequate for making it cheap and that was all about and if it doesn't burn into flames it's the best one to make a small power bank thanks for watching the video and hope you liked it if you actually want to be a part of the channel please subscribe it thanks for watching the video